Alright guys, let's continue. So we're at 51, I think I had 41 to start this. So, what you want to do here, you'll see two sling blasters up there. You just want to take them out one at a time. Just fire seven shots at them, and then get your scattergun ready, because you're going to be ambushed by stingers here. Ah. And just go collect all the skill gems. And again, there's 42 skill gems here. And then for the grunts. Blaster. Make sure you catch the skull gem if it's going to do that. There you go. Now, up here, there's going to be another new enemy. These guys are called Rapid Gutters. And they take two hits to kill, but they're also very accurate with their attacks, so you want to be very careful here. Like I'd say wait for the stingers to come first, and then just get back, aim with your blaster, hopefully you should be able to hit them. There you go. Now you're going to have four grunts come back here, just kind of lead them back here. Alright. And then if you're out of Vulcan Fury ammo, and you get replenished right there. Now you want to get your Vulcan gun out again. You get ready because there's going to be another gunner here waiting for you. They only take two hits, so you don't have to be super fast. And then there's another one up here waiting for you. Yeah. Generally, you want to kill them as fast as possible because they do have very good aim. Alright. Actually, I'm going to use my Vulcan gun on these guys. And then, you got a few more grunts coming here. Now the Vulcan gun is actually unique in the sense that you can kill two enemies at once with it. Like basically you shoot one and if there's another enemy behind it, it'll hit them too. So yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. Get a couple more Vulcan guns. Now you're going to get more stingers, so get your scattergun out. You're at the end of the level, but you got two more sling blasters you see there. Oh, my shots must have missed. Alright. And you'll just come up here. Click the skull gems. And there's the end of the level. Is that. Is that. No, That's not. It's Samus's heart. What? What? This horrible place is our world. Plot twist. <laughs> yeah. All right. So now you just want to make your way back to the city. Be careful if you're gonna. You can drop down here, but be careful so that you don't land in. So you don't land in murky water. Just make your way back up here and back toward the city. So yeah, it can be a tough mission because there's a lot of enemies, especially with the sling blasters and the rapid gunners, but yeah, that's what the Vulcan gun is for. And of course you want to take out the rapid gunners from a distance. Alright, so let's make our way back to Torn. That's right. See the shadow. 
as I smash my zoomer into a wall. Get out of the way! I'll run you over. Alright. So, the second act is all about plot twists, as you can probably tell. Yes, another plot twist that is the younger version of Samos, also known as the Green Sage from Jack and Next Curse of Legacy. Alright, so now you're going to a new place, Haven Forest. So yeah, the icon's the same as the one for the Mountain Temple, which you might, which you might remember. But Haven Forest is an entirely different place, and you'll see once you get there. And I believe this mission also has the most precursor orbs of any mission. I think it has 17 that you can get. Yep. That's the other thing you get. You get the jet board. Okay. And I just turned way too early there. So yes, you get the jet board. Alright, so let's make our way to Haven Forest here. Watch this. I love doing that sometimes. <laughs> you just go into the high zone and just take out a small zoomer. It's fun. Alright. So here we are. Yes, we now have the jet board. And you're gonna need the jet board to get a few of the precursor orbs here. And in fact, before we actually do the mission, I can get eight of the precursor orbs, or actually nine of them, right here. So we're gonna go this way. Yeah, that beam of light wants us to go into that platform, but we're gonna go eat some precursor orbs first. Now we will have to navigate our way through some metal heads. Which shouldn't be a problem for us. And we can ignore them if you want to. And get in my way. And what you wanna do is you wanna 
see this little tiny thing here? This tiny pole, you wanna make your way up that. Very carefully. And then you can get on the jet board. See, here's one, two, three. And then you keep going along this path here. There's another one, that's four, and then five right there. And then come over here into this little path, which before you can only ask access to get the jet board, and there's three more. And you just gotta make your way up here. Yes, you can jump board over Dark Eco, it's not dangerous. And then, if I can get it, there you go. Oh, I died. Wow. Okay, well I guess it's the faster way of getting back. Alright. So yeah, that's my first death in the game, I think. That was really stupid. I could have landed that without dying. I don't know. Use your jet board. Yep, I'm already on the jet board. All right, so this mission, you just want to find these flying metalheads here and take them out. Don't worry, they can't hurt you. All you have to do is catch them, and then that'll kill them. Yeah, it's kind of a nice, relaxing mission. Ah, missed them. Where'd he go? Yeah, there's five of them. They can be tough to catch. But yeah, it's kind of a relaxing mission since you can't really die. Because there's no dark eco on this level or anything. There we go. From what that is, you're so far away from the skull then. Alright, so that's the only one there, I think. Then you make your way up here. And there should be a tunnel you can go through. Yep, there it is, right there. And I think there's three more in this area. There's one. Or it might be two in this area here. One of them up here, and I think two more are down this, down like that. Down like the temple, or the precursor path. Like this. There we go. Yeah, there's five skull gems. And so you just come down these this ramp here. And there's another one. Just grind across these rails. And you can't you can't shoot them with your gun. Unfortunately, you have to catch them on the jet board. Ooh, landed right on top of them. So that's three. So, I think if you come down here, and you come back here, there's a cursor back there. And I actually totally missed one in the first area. I'll get it, I'll get it later, once we're done with the mission. Alright, here's the next guy over here. Yeah, I don't think this one goes over water, so you don't have to worry about losing a skull gem. There's one that goes over water, so and if the skull gem falls into the water, then it's gone. Unfortunately, how did that not hit him? This might remind you of a previous mission in the first jacket I Did I pick up the skull gem? I must have. Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Remember the precur in the Precursor Basin catching those flying lurkers? This mission's kind of similar to that. Alright, so before we get the last guy, you want to search in this lake. I think there's six Precursor Orbs here. There's one. And then there's another one over here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, I think there's six in this lake. There should be another one over here. Yep. See it. Three. One over here. Oh, come on, get it. There we go. And there should be one down here somewhere. There it is. It's 
five, and there should be one more right there. Alright, I think that's all of them, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think there's six in the league. So, next, let's see, I saw the last guy. There he is. I just want to chase him. Now, this guy goes over water, so again, if the skill gem falls into the water, unfortunately, it's gone. He does go over land for a brief period of time here. So that's the best time to catch him. I missed him. And sometimes you can get lucky and maybe the skull gem will land on a patch of land. Okay, you can use the 360 speed boost as well. Yeah, this guy is definitely the hardest to catch because you can easily... above me for a second. There we go. Um, skull gem landed on land. Perfect. Alright. 16 minutes. Okay. So now you want to, for the last precursor, go back and make your way into the forest here. Follow this river over the waterfall. And there's a precursor orb right under it. So yeah, that's all the precursor orbs in the Mountain Temple and Haven Forest. Now you just make your way out. Jetboard's gonna come in very handy. Okay, get on the platform. You can't move on this platform if you try to shoot. You'll notice that the Vulcan barrel is charged up, but it's not firing. So, yeah. But if you have it firing on the way out, then it'll rapid fire. Alright. So, we'll take the work gate back. I got a couple of missions here. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do another one by the time this video ends. But we'll get started with it. The next mission is actually not on the map right now. But once you pass, you'll start following the icons. Once you pass by, yeah, right here. Get on the jet board. And as soon as you hit one, timer starts. And you have 2 minutes 15 seconds to do it. Uh, watch out for the mines. Yeah, and the city will go on high alert, but they won't really start shooting you. And I totally missed it. Wow. Ah! Oh, come on, really? Yeah, if you do touch the mines, they'll start beeping, and then they'll explode after a couple seconds. I don't want it to spin. Alright. Got a minute left. Right, so there's three of them right here. Another one right here. You, um, one thing you can do is you can get on a Crimson Guard Zoomer and shoot them. Might make it a little bit easier because you won't have to worry about the mines, but then you'll have Crimson Guard shooting at you. Alright. Got about 30 seconds left. I don't think we're quite gonna finish. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward. The number of containers left is on the right. I have five left. I'm not going to be able to get them all in time, though, before the video ends. So I'll just keep going. Ah! Get out! Alright. 
three, two, one, see ya.